This is aquatic milkweed in my garden during the springtime. I raise it to bring monarchs into my yard, but it's in its native swamps in the winter that we find this plant's true ecological importance. So yes, it's dormant, it's cold, but so this is aquatic milkweed, that's aquatic milkweed. It has an egg on it. Really? It has an egg, get over here. This is the only native milkweed species with leaves right now. So this time of the year, you're gonna find monarchs clustered, usually around wetlands, where you find aquatic milkweed. It's early February at the St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge, and we weren't expecting to see monarch eggs. But in every year, our seasons are different. And no matter what the season, the Monarch Milkweed Initiative at the refuge wants to make sure monarch butterflies have the milkweed their caterpillars need. The monarch butterfly was petitioned to be listed as a federally protected species a few years ago. And the primary reason for the decline of the monarch butterfly is a very precipitous decline in milkweeds across continental North America, which is the primary plant that monarch butterflies lay their eggs on. If you have no milkweeds, you have no monarch butterflies. So U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service here at St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge launched an initiative to try to stop that decline, at least in our region. Part of that is finding the plants and their seeds. This is what I, I do in order to bring these plants back from the wild, to, to bring them to civilization, to bring them to cultivation. So, um, which I suppose it's not too bad because I can, periodically I can go ahead and find myself a snack made out of sawgrass. So a very ambitious project that involves growing them in a nursery as well as managing them out in the field. And so we've grown about half a million milkweeds at this point. <laughs> you like the monarch caterpillar chrysalis and a question mark and then a monarch on the back. Great. Today, volunteers are working on planting one specific milkweed species. Mm -hmm. That is a sprout of Asclepius humistrata. Okay. Asclepius humistrata, generally known as the sandhill milkweed, pine woods milkweed. It's probably the most important milkweed in the southeastern United States for monarch butterflies because it emerges around that time of the year in May when the monarchs are beginning to return to this region. The monarchs move through here, they utilize Asclepius humistrata, and then they continue north, repopulating eastern North America, and then we see them later, whenever they return in the fall. Scott has been figuring out the best way to grow different milkweeds. He's experimenting with different soil mixtures for Sandhills milkweed. This is four dirt, one perlite, one sand, and one peat moss. Gotcha. Asclepius humistrata has a very long taproot that grows pretty quickly. So to put it in a smaller plastic pot, it just runs into, yeah, it can't go any further. So when we do them in here, then this can be planted directly into the ground. You just plant the seed as deep as it is long, so there's just like a little bit of soil covering okay. it. Not a lot. Okay. So we're just going to kind of put them in there and then push it down like a little bit. We have a, a machine that grinds up pine needles, uh -huh. and we'll be putting a layer of pine needles on top of it. Oh, okay. And the pine needles deliver a little bit of nutrients to the soil, also protect the seed to keep it keep the seed moist. Asclepius humistrata is one of many milkweed species that grow in fire-dependent upland pine forests. Another is a plant more commonly grown at home. For the garden, we do have a number of native milkweed species that are very suitable. One is a butterfly milkweed, Asclepius tuberosa. One is pink swamp milkweed, Asclepius incarnata, and another is aquatic milkweed, Asclepius perennis, which are very easy to grow in a wide variety of landscapes and soils. Native milkweed is relatively easy to grow, and when you do, you invite monarchs into your yard. I think everybody should have some kind of milkweed in their yard. You just have to decide which kind. For WFSU, I'm Rob Diaz de Villegas.